ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.tv and watch from any device. Joining me with more on the United Nations Human Rights Council's 2021 year-end report, legal advisor to UN Watch, Dina Rovner. Dina, thanks so much for joining us. It's a pleasure to have you. Now, are you at all surprised by the content and the phrasing in this year-end report? First of all, thank you. It's a pleasure to be with you. Um, and to answer your question, no, not at all. Uh, let me just explain what this report is. This is an annual report of the Human Rights Council, which basically contains the text of all the resolutions and decisions that were adopted by the Council over the past year. So, and then the report gets presented to the General Assembly. It was presented last week, which then will rubber stamp it by adopting a resolution approving the report. So you are correct in, in your assessment. Um, it, it goes through, it, it, it has the text, it lists the resolutions and then it goes through the text of all the resolutions. And you can see um, that the council adopted four resolutions against Israel during the March session and another resolution this year against Israel um, during the special session in May. And you know, none of this is surprising. So where, where did the report get things right or, or, you know, address things fairly? I mean, I can't really say that, there, that the report got things right or addressed things fairly because what you see in the report, um, what you see is the, the Human Rights Council's obsessive demonization of Israel. And um, as Ambassador Gilad Erdan correctly said in his speech, since it was established in 2006, the Council adopted 142 resolutions on the entire rest of the world and 95 on Israel. So that means 40% of the Council's resolutions since 2006 have been on Israel. And this data comes from our database, which you can find at www.un watch.org slash database. And in addition to the resolution uh, resolutions, you have 30% of the council special sessions since it was founded have focused on Israel. So yes, it's true. And I think you um, may have mentioned this, that a handful of other countries do get singled out by the council for condemnation during the year. These are countries that might be politically weak, like Syria and North Korea. Mm -hmm. um, but the vast majority of countries, egregious human rights abusers are completely ignored, like China, uh, which imprisons a million Uyghurs in concentration camps, Cuba, which represses human rights activists and silences protesters, Turkey, arrests journalists, Pakistan supports the, Tal the Taliban and persecutes minorities. Mm -hmm. Saudi Arabia, which imprisons human rights activists. These countries are just ignored. They get a free pass by the Human Rights Council. All right, now, th the United Nations has consistently been accused of disproportionate focus on Israel. I've made that charge, you've made that charge. And I think that this report largely reflects that same allegation, but how do we decide what an appropriate focus is? Right, because because of course we, we should be mentioning these other issues: the Uyghur Muslims, the the crackdown on on political dissent and and free speech. Uh, but you know, how do we decide what the balance is? Yeah, so I think um, a basic aspect of this that is uh, you, that is never emphasized and it's it's kind of ignored um, is that Israel is a democracy. So in Israel. There is vigorous debate within Israeli society. You have free elections. We've had four elections in the last two years. Um, you have a free media, you, like I said, civil society. So these issues are raised within the context of Israel's democracy. And um, you know, the public in Israel has the opportunity to bring about change within Israel. Whereas countries like, um, you know, some of the other countries I mentioned, like China, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, they don't have, they are not democracies. And the public in those countries cannot raise, um, you know, criticisms of their government and try to bring change from within. So an appropriate focus for the Human Rights Council, I think the Human Rights Council has to put Israel in the category of democracies. So Israel should be treated, for example, like the United States, United Kingdom, Canada, and other countries that don't have um, you know, the same checks and balances as Israel does 
are in a different category. And those countries should be really uh, is what the Human Rights Council should be focusing on. All right, Dina Rovner from UN Watch, thank you so much. Thank you.